Hey guys, welcome to another video of the Frontline Trooper. My name is Andrew Cook and this is a tutorial on how to not make a Pepecura file but how to actually work Pepecura Design 3. So to start off we'll just open up our folder, basically file open. If you've previously used one they'll be in the list below or you can just go up to open tab and select whichever one you want. I'll be working with a ODST helmet. Open. Right now, for those of you that are, are unaware of what the screen layout is, on the left hand side here we have our 3D screen. The 3D screen is the screen that allows you to see your helmet in 3D, which is what the final product will look like once you've cut out all your paper bits and stuck them together. Now, you can fully rotate this around by holding down the right click and selecting anywhere on the page and dragging. Uh, you can The left click doesn't really apply on the screen. If you have on your mouse a wheelie uh, wheel in the middle of your mouse, that will allow you to adjust the zoom in features. So those are pretty much the three things. Right click, select, mouse, zoom in, and that's it. Two things. Alright, now, another important thing you're going to find with the 3D uh, view is that you're going to want to go up to 3D menu, right next to file, go down to view setup, scroll across here, and change around with these things. They've got shade, white, color, so at the moment it's a blue colory texture, so I'll go back, if I click white you can see it goes to white or shade it goes to a nice cool looky color. I quite like this one, it actually allows you to see depth and textures in it but some some people will say it's kind of annoying, but I quite like it. Um, you can turn light on or off, it doesn't really apply to that one, but it does here. Um, this is a major thing here size of openings after folded, which means, I'll just move it up a bit, as you can see the piece is starting to pull apart a bit, do it a bit more, yeah, they've all pulled apart to the individual pieces, now this is where it will lead onto the 2D screen, every one of these pieces, say this one here, is not connected, as you can see these gaps, each one of these pieces allocates to a piece on here, on the 2D menu, the 2D menu is a menu that shows what your pages will look like. So each line here, you can see they're segregated by these lines. Each one of these pages represents an A4 page. So yeah, this one, this you can't really do much on this. You can hold down the middle button roller and literally move around, but that's about it. You zoom in, zoom out. So if you want to learn anything else about how to use Paper Cura Designer 3, you can go explore through these things. I don't really use them. I just rely on the right click, zoom in features. So this is the Frontline Trooper for Paper Cura Designer 5 tutorial. Cheers.